what's up guys so as of this video the world is still in quarantine i have thought of a plethora <laughs> of ways to vamp up my room and honestly they are so easy and so cheap i really think that every single viewer could do this as well also comment if you like this green eye look i'm really feeling it i feel like the human form of a shamrock shake especially because i got little freckles into the oreos okay we're gonna pretend like i didn't say that what the right eye sees what the left eye can't now is My Mimi went to China, and I don't know why <laughs> she decided to buy Future of Freedom DVD series Battle for America because it was cheap in China, but <laughs> she did, and she's never used it, and she can't use it because it doesn't work in our DVD players. Oh, look at my little setup. I'm going to uh, draw on the back of this. I like this one because it's really clean on the back. I feel like this would be a really cool photo shoot. Also, does it like reflect butterflies? Not butterflies. <laughs> Rainbows. You're gonna need a permanent marker and now we're gonna go ahead and draw on this. I like hair from my hair to my hair. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just got done with this little thing. This turned out so well. And this one was super easy, and honestly you don't have to have like that much artistic talent because I feel like the style for these is kind of like sloppy doodles, which I like a lot. I'm gonna do a few more and then hang them up in like a cluster. Okay, I finished the other two. This is this one with the mountain range and the moon that looks like a freaking seat, but we're gonna ignore that. The first one I did, that's an astronaut, but we're also gonna ignore him. That's also a moon that looks like a toenail clipping, but we like that, so we're not gonna ignore that. We got some slime, baby. We're gonna hang those up. Okay guys, so I got my three CD play, uh, not players, CDs. <laughs> And I'm going to hang them up like this. It's gonna look awkward. The thing is, is I actually want to fill my entire door frame up with different CDs that I wrote on. I'm sure you can use like tape or you can put a tack in the middle, but I have these command strips that you can just pull and I'm just gonna put it right here. Boom. This is what that looks like. And I can't wait till my entire door frame is filled up with those. The first step in this is finding all the magazines in your house, go through them, and find any cute image in them. So once I found a cute image that I like, I would go ahead and mark that. I went through all of these and once I got a bunch of images marked, I got my scissors and I started cutting these out. I actually hated using the scissors, so I used my X-Acto knife that I was supposed to use for school, but quarantine happened and I never got to use it for my art classes, yay. Anyway, I found this orange and I literally think this orange is so cute. I think it's my favorite part of my finished product. So once I cut this out, I decided just screw cutting board and use the magazine as a cutting board. And obviously that was a huge mistake because yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite object, cat food. I went ahead and cut this out. I actually didn't use it in this project, but I love that. <laughs> so this is it all together. I got my paper and I laid out how I wanted the objects to look got my glue and I started gluing. The method I was using to glue was to put the glue on and then spread it around with my finger so it wouldn't be like really clumpy. Okay, I added, <laughs> I added a mouth. I'm really not sure that's where exactly cat's mouths go, but I mean, it looks pretty good. I want my cat to be eating a leaf. Okay, I just got, actually I'm not done. I have to burn the edges, but 
The cat is eating a leaf and I added black Sharpie. Yeah, I have nothing to say about that. It's pretty tragic. I'm gonna go ahead and burn the edges. Hopefully like glue's not flammable or something cause <laughs> let's see how this goes. Not going too bad. <laughs> oh, it's hot. That's pretty nice right there. I do say so myself. What if this just like exploded in my face? That would kind of suck though. Hope this doesn't get demonetized for like five. <laughs> Jesus! It do be burning me though. Look at my flesh peeling off. Just kidding, that's just glue. I keep touching this like an idiot. <sighs> Definitely want to make sure not to get my hair in this. I would be the person to burn all my hair off. Nice, this is like blowing it together. Hot, hot, <laughs> Only one more sign of excruciating pain. Oh. It's good for now. <laughs> mm, I want to hold it on the sides, but whatever, This the flesh on my hands already burnt off. This is how my collage turned out. We got a chair, an orange growing from some succulents that are sideways. We got this with a flower, a cat eating a leaf, some other leaves, and a bridge. I think it turned out pretty fantastic, and I'm gonna hang it up in my room. Basically, whenever I filmed a few of these projects, it was before the stay at home order quarantine became like a really big thing. So this specific project wasn't necessarily stay at home friendly, but it was easily like remastered to be that way. So what you're gonna do is find an old painting that you or someone else did, maybe it's around your house, go in that painting and add something else after. I feel like this really challenges you to think outside the box. I'm gonna show y'all what I did. Went ahead and sketched that out. It looks really cool. It's supposed to be the back of my hair. I don't think I'm gonna be able to paint that, but we're gonna try. Rain soaked cardboard. Mixed with construction sound. Noises of pollution. Nature has its own movement. This is not turning out how I wanted it to. Okay, so I finally finished. This is the part that I added. It's just basically me with a jacket. Yeah, I'm gonna hang that up on my wall. Simply painting things and hanging them up can make a difference. <laughs> So now I'm going to do a mood board. You can either use the magazines or you can do what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my Pinterest and a printer. I printed out a whole bunch of pictures that I think will fit my mood board and I am basically cutting them out. Okay, so now I'm going ahead and organizing my, what are these called? Paper? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more. I may print out a few more and then I'm going to tape them up there. And to finish it up with cat food. We're gonna put the cat food right here. No, we're gonna put it right here. This is my mood board. I need to add a few little bit more touches. But you get the point. Okay guys, so I am outside where I'm going to find the first bit of our project. 
What I'm gonna be using first is a cork board. This was from Marshalls and I got it for $6, which is amazing. Uh, no, actually it's not amazing. You can get it from Amazon for like, probably like three. Next thing I'm gonna use is these decorative tacks, which you could probably find for way cheaper than I did as well. Like I said before, I filmed some of these before quarantine. If you don't have a cork board, I saw on Pinterest that you can literally use like a piece of construction paper or even like a rope and get little laundry clip things. So yeah. The reason why I'm outside is I'm going to be looking for any sort of leaf or flower that I'm going to put on this board show the beautiful art of nature because not gonna lie nature is so much more beautiful than anything i could ever 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 create good job god <laughs> i've been outside and i've been creating things a really good healing time okay nobody told me that four leaf clovers are infested with huge spiders Okay guys, so I went ahead and collected a bunch of little cute leaves. Okay guys, so this is my finished product. I added these little cute baby flowers. We'll figure out where to put that later. Hey guys, I forgot to film an outro. I'm so sorry that this video has been so chaotic. It looks like I changed like 72 times. But the thing is, is like I said, I filmed this video or the original video before quarantine. So I had to do a lot of editing and then I had other ideas that I could add in as well. So that's why I'm wearing different outfits. It's literally just different days. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like any more like decorative type videos or art videos whatever comment down below please share this video um tell your friends about it i know y'all are all bored just like me uh like comment subscribe i love you guys so much and see you next time Jaded heart.